welcome back to Beyond the Ski On and this level is so long that I'm going to have to split it into two videos so I'll get straight onto it because it, each video is going to be pretty long anyway so firstly if you step forward start to step forward there should be a diary entry where is it? well it's here anyway uh, location I'm not going to try and pronounce that Peru Inventory, Ski on Piece 1. Objective, get the get to the temple in a sanctum, solve the puzzle of light, return Ski on Part to safe location. Secrets in this level, 3. We actually have secrets in this level, which means we can get the uh, the trophy if we get all the secrets. So, there's uh, this enclosed area here. They've got there's a gate there and the jump switch to open it is very well hidden in that bush there. So, if we pull that and try and line up. So just make your way down, follow it round, and come all the way to the end. So straight ahead you can see a funny looking doorway and we need kind of a, a key to open it, like a, the triangle arch that sits on top. So when we get that, that will open the door, and it's actually over somewhere. Where is it? Too many doors. There it is. So we need to try and get that. So firstly, you shoot this strange looking panel here, and then just follow it round. There is a small med pack here. And don't forget that so far I have used one small med pack during this entire game. Even though my statistics say otherwise. Which a little is a little bit frustrating. So there we go, we've got a lever there. So just return to the the room where we came from and we'll we'll be able to see what that lever did. So just here, that opened the gate here, so we can get this key. And the key goes over here. So this first little area is simple enough. So when we come through here, we um, this will up lower. And this level is easy enough to do without using a med pack. But if I do take unnecessary damage, that I feel as though I didn't need to take that damage, I will reload and try again. Oh, that snake got me. A lot. I'm going to reload. So basically just keep jumping around like a nutter. So no damage taken yet. And right here is where we're going to have to take damage. You can't see from here, but around that corner there is a ledge to grab. So saving again. So jump up, run and jump, and then veer and grab a ledge. Not quite like that. gap here but you can see a ladder there we need to grab the ladder and the only way to get it is hanging from this ledge so make sure she has a footing 
shimmy to the right, and then flip and grab. And then just shimmy along. Try not to, because uh, you see it slopes there as she shimmers along. If she gets to a part that's too high for her to grab, she won't sort of shimmy along up it. She will just let go and fall to her death. A little bit annoying. So let her get a footing here and then just flip off. There we go. And then push this block all the way to the back. I hate pushing blocks. Okay, so we need that there to get to a ledge that's right here. Okay. So mine the gap. And the ladder is only on the far side, so bear that in mind. And then just climb down. And here we go, we've got this keystone piece. So climb back up and just make your way back out. So hop back across. And here you're better off grabbing the ledge, just in case she does take a bit of damage. And at this point, we want to bring this block all the way to the other side. Block is the only way to get back to the ladder across the lava pit. Bear with me, I've messed up. You need to pull it out once and then go behind it and then push it all the way. I'm a goon, aren't I? Oh, finally, okay. So you can just see up there, we need to get into the doorway that's up on the top there. And to open it, there is a pressure plate over here. And it is on a timer, a very short timer, so I do recommend saving. I'll be saving. So roll onto it, run off, roll. And you need to do this in one movement. Don't stop running to line yourself up. I've jumped too soon, so I will have to start again now. Oh dear. So as I was saying, do it in one movement. Don't stop running to line yourself up. Okay, and just don't uh, let her get her footing. Just shimmy along around the corner. Go along once, and then up once, and she should get her footing. Yep. Yeah and then just flip back and we're in and what is in here is it's a secret an actual secret I know right not many going round at the moment so just try and shimmy out I'm not doing too well alright so come to the edge and grab the ladder. So then just make your way back the way you came. And then just flip backwards, there we go. I'm feeling very croaky today. Do I sound croaky? <coughs> flip out of that gap and then you can see over there there is a small med pack so run and jump to that here we go and now you need to make your way back across the uh, the spike trap here 
and they will activate. Sometimes they activate when you're on it, sometimes they have a moment before they activate and you don't get hit. So, saving just in case. I'm hoping they don't hit, I always hope they don't hit me, but I'll say it anyway. Oh, perfect. Okay. So now we can go and place the keystone. Here we go. So you have to stop moving to actually place it. If you're still running up to the door, she won't register that you want to put that there. Alright, so come in here and shoot these boxes. There's only one that has something in it. Got some flares here. And if you have trouble picking them up, then crouch down to get them. I had trouble one time I was playing. So come over to the left, and there is a small med pack. And now, there are some mercenaries that have spawned. So they don't start shooting until they get a bit closer. very badly. How's my health? Eh, not great. See how it goes. Right. So now we need to climb up and to do so we grab this ledge here. If you jump and grab it, she won't grab the ledge and I don't know why. So we come to the right and press jump to vault to the next level. And across this ledge over there, there is a large med pack. So I'll run and jump to that. There we go, and then just make your way back over. So much concentration. So just follow the ledge. Uh, excuse me, tongue twister. Follow the ledges around. And a lot of these parts in this level you need to actually grab the side of the ledge instead of just dropping straight down because you will take damage. So just keep grabbing up, shimmying, grabbing up, whatever you need to do. And there is a fire trap coming up, it's unavoidable. And I do believe there's a, a pressure plate that activates it. Because you can't hear it and as soon as you step on that tile you can hear it now. So shimmy around this ledge, don't climb up because it's difficult to get out of if you want to avoid the fire, which yeah you're gonna want to avoid it. So I recommend saving here. Wait for the fire to stop. Okay and drop and roll and run. So now we need to aim for that ledge and it's not easy to line up with. I'll wait for the fire again. So hop back, run and jump, and grab. Oh yes. <laughs> I always expect I'm not going to make it, so I get really excited. Oh yes. So just shimmy all the way along. I am very croaky today. <coughs> Alright, and at this point, we're gonna go get another secret. I know, right? Secrets everywhere. The next two are actually in this room. We've got two secrets in this room. So to get the secret, we need to do a, what I believe is called a banana jump around this pillar in front. So make sure you're kind of on this middle line. You see uh, the texture of the little tiles and slabs. You want to be in the centre here, roughly. And you want to line Lara's shoulder up with the pillar. I don't know if my mouse 
is showing you this. If not, I will find a way to show you. But that pillar. And hop back. I recommend saving, just in case. Lots of saving in this game. And then run and jump, and veer around. That did not work in the slightest. Takes a lot of practice. Sometimes it helps if you take just that extra little step back. Like so, that was beautiful. So then just climb up to this ledge here. And you can save again if you want. The monkey bars are actually quite difficult to grab in this game. You need to be at the perfect angle. These ones are pretty easy. But if you're not confident with jumping, then feel free to save. No one's judging you. And follow them along to the next ledge here. Shoot this box. And secret number two. Secrets everywhere in this level. Right, and there's three ways to get back to where you were. You can grab the ledge and drop down, but you will take full damage. So I will not be doing that. Or you can grab the monkey bars and make your way back to where you were and jump back round, but I find that incredibly difficult to jump back round. The gap isn't as small so you can't do an actual running jump, or at least not properly. So I'm going to do a jump over to the next ledge here, where I picked up that large med pack. So you want to be in the middle, uh, angle Lara's shoulder as you were before, save the game. <laughs> Hop back, hope for the best, mind the wall. Oh, or oh, just. Okay. And now that burner is off. So we've got. Oh, I forgot to grab. Oh! So now the burner is off. So we've got a safe path. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, so when you're back where you were, we need to get across to the other side. So we need to raise the platform there on the right, and it's got a very short timer, but it is pretty easy to use. So if you're not confident with your jumps, you know what to do. Okay, and then jump and grab. So it's, it's it gives you a fair amount of time there. In this bit you want to jump, uh, jump up and take two steps up. If she's too high, she will take full damage. So you just want to grab this. And this is not a slope, you can stand on this. So careful you don't run off it, otherwise you will slide straight back down to the bottom. So run and jump to the next ledge. And this particular bit, you need to trial and error where you uh, you jump up to the higher ledge because sometimes she doesn't grab it and I'm not sure why, so just keep shimmying and jumping, you'll get there. And this corner, you don't want to be too high to the left, don't go too far to the left, otherwise you will take full damage. And also there is a mercenary. The easiest way to deal with him is wait for him to come under the ledge you are at. save in case this doesn't go how I want it to go. It happens a lot. Where is he? Because they snipe and they've got rocket launchers. If they use rocket launchers, 
that's absolutely fantastic because they can't reach you from up here so he is running around beautifully which means you can hit him with the revolver Sometimes he just stays under the ledge and doesn't move. If he does that, then I will I will show you what to do in a moment. Too much concentration. I think they take about seven shots from the revolver, which is a surprising amount, really. You'd expect two or three. be long-winded to deal with this guy. Although, you know, I'm sure you know by now what I mean by long-winded. Oh, I missed! I think I missed him! Yeah, the, the Troubled Waters video. I missed again! Oh, that was awful. Oh, I got him. Good. Definitely got him that time. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. So, if he's standing under the ledge and is not moving, you can jump over to this side. I'm sure you've seen that wall over there. We will come back to that in a moment. That opens this gate here. So if you come over to this side, you can coax him out by hanging here. If you hang on the other side, he will just shoot the hell out of you. So don't do it on that side. So he should come over, or at least change his animation. So anyway, now we want to go to that hole in the ceiling up there. Can't quite see it. So, oh, you want to jump up and grab that ladder there. And don't forget, if you want to turn around really quick, like that, press the roll button. So just make your way over to this gap. And we've got secret three! Can you believe it? Secret three. I know, right? <laughs> awesome. Okay. As the easiest way to get back to there is simply run and jump. It's pretty easy. Okay, so now we're going to open the gate. Oh, flip out. Silly Lara. Right, so jump up to the switch. Ooh. And then shimmy to the right, because sometimes she doesn't grab the ledge here. It gives you enough time to get to it, so don't panic too much. So, uh, there we go. Mind the gap. And the other gap. Here we go. Okay. Okay, okay. So coming through here, you see this tile that doesn't look like the other tiles. So we can shoot that. I recommend the pistols. And right here there is a gate key. We will not use this key until the next video. Be a while yet before we use it. There is two panthers in here. 
Well, there are two panthers. Oh, jaguars, excuse me, I do apologise. One there, and the other one is over in this corner. They're not very quick. I've noticed the wildcats in this game have really random animations. Right, so the goal of this room is we want to get into the room behind this wall. And we need to pull three different levers to do so. This particular lever here just raises a block, which is on a timer. So, pull that. And whoa, come on. Ugh. I don't think I'm going to make it now because Lara's faffing about. just in case. I enjoy saving. One of my favourite pastimes. There we go, that's how you jump out of a gap. Okay, what are you doing now? Really, you do get plenty of time to grab that. So we're going to jump to the corner here. And if you climb inside of this scroll space, there is a small med pack. That's the only thing in this little gap. If I can get to the med pack. Oh, I hate crawling. I hate swimming too. I hate a lot of things, including rope swings. There we go. Climb out. Oh my god, shoes. And then just shimmy to the left. There we go, shimmy until you get to the new ledge here. And I didn't actually show you, whoops. On the other side of this wall, straight in front of Lara, there is a jump switch. So that's one of the jump switches that will open that massive wall. So I do recommend saving because it's not an easy ledge to grab, it's at an angle. So it's difficult. Okie dokie. So do your best, it's, a, it's very trial and error. Off we go. Okay, so just shimmy around. Here it is. You can see the jump switch now. I don't know why I didn't bother to show you, but it's there. So we can see nothing's happened. Which, when they show that, that means that there are more switches to be pulled. So now we need to climb all the way back up to where we were. It's a bit um, backwards and forwards like the last level, but I do enjoy this level quite a bit more because it's not its not as bad. You don't go back to the same spot as many times. And I can deal with that. Oh, come on. Come on! Mm. Fast forward. It is pretty simple when you get the hang of it. If you get the hang of it. So again, shimmy straight back to where we were. Because now we get the joy of rope swings. I know, right? Ah, oh, rope swings. 
Okay. So, saving. Because saving. So take a running jump to that one. And do not get yourself to the lowest point of the rope. Because the next rope is actually closer than you think. So stay where you are. Swing forwards. That was a terrible swing. And then let go. You don't need momentum at all. But you do on this one. So you're aiming for the higher ledge. For some reason you just can't reach the lower ledge. So. <coughs> so very croaky today. Here we go. So we are aiming for the lower ledge now. So if you do the um, hop back and grab and let go of grab, she will go straight into the gap. And for some reason here, yeah, the save game screen comes up. It didn't do that the first few times I've played, but it does now. So we see a block there, and a funny looking tile there. So let's introduce them. You know, the save game screen comes up later, and it will be far later in the level, it will be in the next video, but I don't understand why it does it, really. Let's everyone see all my saves. Okay, so putting the block there opened this door. And there's all kind of craziness going on. We need to climb the ladder right here. So you don't need to panic about the boulder too much. So on the other side of the spikes, there's a door which we need to open. And the jump switch is in this corner. So now we just need to get back down. It's actually a lot harder to get back down. Okay, so just grab a wall and slowly ease your way down. Don't go too far. Oh no! I don't know. I let go. That was my fault, but I don't know why I just let go. Oh dear. Okay, so grab the wall. Don't let go. <laughs> well, you can now. Oh, okay. So there's the door, the doorway. And these spikes have no correlation. I mean, if you watch long enough, you do see that they are random. So it is a case of trial and error go when you think. If I take damage, which I think I could have done better, I will reload. Whoa, that was, that was amazing. <laughs> right, so pull this. This is lever number two to um, open the big wall at the back, at the top of the slope. Oh, hi. Lots of saving in this game. Whoa. I don't think that was too much damage. Nearly ran straight into the spikes. Okay, so now we need to use the rope swings again and go all the way back up to the top again. Huzzah. So, uh, you know, same as before, just pull that switch in the far corner, hop onto the raised block. You know the deal by now.
I always feel as though I need to talk at moments where I know I'm going to fast forward the section, but I never really know what to say. I mean, you know, we've done this before. Third time now. So once again, back at the top. Rope swings again. I didn't show you. On the top level, there are actually monkey bars. You can just see them in the far corner on the left. The left. I have a left. I have a right as well. So saving just in case. I didn't think she was going to make that. There we go. So I often let her get her footing there and then swing and then let go. There we go. So it is, this, these rope swings are actually pretty simple. You just need to realise that the second one is closer than you expect. So here we go, here's the monkey bar. Excuse me, grab it. Grab the monkey bars. There we go. Here they are, grab them. Follow it round. And at the end, there is a ceiling lever. And when Lara gets to it, she will automatically pull it, and unfortunately, full damage will be taken. Here it is. It's quite clever. So what that lever did was open the door behind Lara there, and just in front, over here. Okay, and the third lever to be pulled is right here. Awesome. So don't forget to be as careful as you can with your health if you don't want to use a health pack. Because uh, this is a long level. So uh, this level will be split into two, don't forget. And so I will need to conserve my health for the next video. There we go, so now we have access to that far room. Oops. And careful when you get to the top, because the floor comes away. So to open the gate in front, there is a jump switch just by Lara's head. And that block, you can't stand on it from here, you'll get set on fire. But it raises once you get the jump switch, so you will be able to stand on it. So jump over to this side. I think you can only reach the rope that you probably just saw in the centre from the sides. So run and jump to the rope. So wait for it to stop swinging and then line yourself up. And the ceiling is actually pretty low here so it can be difficult. So if you're unsure just keep getting as much momentum as you think you need. Okay, so jump and grab. Awesome. And this is where I will be leaving the video. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. See you soon.